North Melbourne is the predominant conversation of this Tuesday, front and back of the Herald Sun today. The captain, Jack Zebel, is with me. Jack, thanks for coming on the program. Thanks for having me, Jared. I think the most logical starting point is to ask you what your recollections of the post-match address are from round three at the Gabba. Yeah, it's a little time ago um, now, but seeing as though it's come to life, it's um, it a pretty disappointing performance uh, from our team that night. And um, in fairness, we just lost by over 100 points. So the coach, yeah, it gave us a pretty direct message after the game. And um, I think in the coming days, he, he might have reflected upon that and thought that maybe it was a little bit um, too much. But my recollection is, to be honest, that he didn't need to, to do that. His message was fair. It was direct. Um, the, the performance wasn't up to standard. Um, this season in 2022, we've, we've got higher expectations of ourselves and, and the, the way we want to play and the way we carry ourselves. And I don't think we lived up to that on that night. So um, that was it from my point of view. Um, the, the following week, we got a great response. And to be honest, we probably should have beaten Sydney in Sydney. Um, unfortunately, we did a few things late in that game that didn't quite get the job done. But um, in terms of a response after a really disappointing week, I mean, the players responded really well. So, um, yeah, that's that's probably where I sit on it. And um, I'm a little bit bemused to think that this has made such big news, to be honest, um, off the back of what's occurred. Why did David feel the need to apologise to the players, Jack? I think Noves' character is something um, that we all love about him. Um, I personally don't think he needed to apologise. I think he, he did what was fair and reasonable after the game in a disappointing night. Um, and, you know, his actions are, are, are something that he, he decided to do um, and, and follow up with the group post that. Um, and, and I think that from that point, um, the environment at our footy club over the last 18 months has been outstanding. He's created such a supportive, encouraging, learning environment for our group um, that, that has really, really been really fantastic to work in. So, um, yeah, I, I'm actually a bit blown away that this has sort of been blown out the way it has um, off the back of an article that was written yesterday. Within that environment, Jack, have the players had concerns over the manner in which the coach provides feedback? Absolutely not. I mean, um, the environment um, in 2022, I'm a bit old school, um, Jared. It's a little bit different from what it was probably 10 or 15 years ago. Um, but in saying that, Noves has been one of the, the greatest supporters of all of our players um, over the last 18 months and on the journey we're on. And um, if you've been following North Melbourne at all over the last you know, couple of years, you'll understand the path we're taking at the moment. We understand that, that um, the line of, of improvement and progression is not linear and there's going to be ups and downs. And, and unfortunately for us and, and our members and supporters and players and coaches, we're in a bit of a down patch at the moment. But um, the direction Nobes has, the way he's built that direction, um, he's got the full support of the players, the club, the coaches, everyone involved here at North Melbourne inside the four walls could not be more supportive of the way he goes about it. So he's, he's been fantastic for us and um, we are 100% on the right path. I couldn't agree with that anymore. So that, that, that idea of the different generations, uh, we've been exploring that with Nathan Buckley earlier today and, and what that looked like by the time he'd finished coaching. Were there, were there players who found, uh, let's call it the spray, confronting? Uh, they might have been, potentially. Um, probably because... They haven't been exposed to that probably as much as we used to be back in the day. But in saying that, I'm, I'm sure that if you get beaten by 100 points in any other footy club around Australia, it's probably going to be a similar response from your coach. And if it's not, that means that your coach probably doesn't care too much, to be honest. And for me, Nobs' passion, his drive, his ambition, the way he goes about his business, it just shows you how invested he is in our team and the success of our team. So, yeah, from my point of view, um, I think it was well warranted, to be honest, um, after that performance. And, um, yeah, he, he did what he did after that um, in, in response and um, from that point I don't think there needs to be too much to be said because the way we go at the moment we, we as senior players have to, to you know step up and help guide our younger players through this period of transition um, we have to help the coaches in their messaging as well um, and I think that yeah that's, it's, it's on all of us at the football club to help turn this um, little patch in at the minute around Has the game plan been simplified within this season Jack? Um not entirely. I think we've been building our game plan over the last 18 months and we've been adding layers. Um, and we will continue to add layers because that's what you have to do in 2022 in modern day footy. You have to be able to play different modes of football. Um, so we, when Nobes first started, he came come off the really short run. Um, I think he was appointed in December. We didn't start pre-season until 2021 January, um, a lot of the older guys. So we only had a really short pre-season last year with Nobes to instill a little bit of his game plan. So we've had all summer all last year um, and this pre-season to instill a bit more. And, um, you know, there's plenty to learn because it is a new game plan and, and, and a few of our guys might be just starting to learn that, but we have to keep on the path and we can't deviate. And Noves has been really strong at that. And 
I couldn't agree with him anymore that the game plan we, we have at the moment, I think, stacks up. We just have to produce it more often. Um, and that's our chance. We haven't been able to do it more consistently enough. So have there been moments, Jack, within the season where there's been feedback that it is confusing and and difficult to implement? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, at times when things are happening in games, there's, there's clarifications needed 100%. And, and to, to simplify what your priorities are in a game, it, it happens all the time. And in every footy club, it would happen as well. Um, here's no different. But our game plan has not changed in the last 18 months. Let me make that clear. And I believe that game plan is going to hold our footy club in good stead over the next you know, period of time. It's going to send us back up the ladder. And at the moment, um, it, it's, we're in a bit of a, a, a downward um, patch. But in saying that, we've, we've played some good footy this year against you know, um, Hawthorne in the first round and, and West Coast and Sydney. We've, we've matched it against you know, a few good teams in a few quarters here and there. It's just about reproducing that football more consistently. And, and as players, we understand that, that it's Sometimes a bit harder to do that against good teams. That's what makes good teams good teams. We've been able to do it consistently, and that's our challenge. How much responsibility at the moment sits with you, Jack, and your your leadership group, the senior players? Uh, and I guess are you are you failing? Do you feel like you're failing at the moment in the rut that you're in? No, I don't think so, Jared. Um, I can see how that people might. Pers- pers- perceive it that way. Um, but we are doing a lot of work at our footy club to help um, improve our direction, improve our performances. Um, a lot of people don't see what happens inside our four walls, how much work we're doing day to day. Um, do we need to improve? Yes, we do. We can always improve. Myself as a leader, I'll take responsibility for that. I need to improve as well. Um, our leadership group will definitely be improving. Um, our players, all the way from our oldest all the way through to our youngest, we need to improve as well. And, and the coaches would say the same about themselves. Everyone in the whole footy club, we need to get better. And that's what we're, we're aiming to do every single day we come to the club is improve and get better so that we can get ourselves into a position to win games quicker and, you know, represent our footy club the best we can and, and make our supporters and members really proud. And it's something that I'm, I'm um, thrilled to announce is that we've actually made a membership record this year, which is incredible to see the support for our loyal members and supporters throughout this period is, is nothing short of amazing. And, and us at the footy club, we are just hell-bent on making sure that our performances stack up on, on field. So people are on the journey with you, Jack, and it was well explained. But I think there is a level of impatience that we tap into from the North Melbourne faithful who thought things would reveal themselves to be more advanced. And they worry that things are actually uh, receding rather than advancing. Do you, A, understand that view? And B, do you think that view is wrong? I, I do understand, yes. I can see the level of impatience and, and believe me at the football club as well. We, we don't like losing, Jared. We, we're not out there to lose games of footy. We want to win. I want to make that very clear. Um, we want to accelerate that process as quick as we possibly can. And um, my message to our fans and supporters and loyal, loyal members is to stick with us. Um, it, it might not seem like we're improving at the rate that everyone expects us to right now, but you're never going as bad as you think you're going. And, and when you're going really well, you're never going as well as you think you're going as well. So I actually firmly believe we're on the right direction. I think we're, we're not far away from turning it around. Um, and I understand there's plenty of intrigue around our narrative at the moment in our story of our season. But there's plenty of footy to go. Um, and we're focused on improving day by day, making sure that we improve our performances and, and get better as individuals and also as a team, as a club. Um, we do that and you'll see some inroads coming very, very soon. How would you diagnose the past few games, Jack? After So I called the Sydney game. It was a hugely commendable performance and probably with a little bit of poise, you win that game. Um, I'm not sure how competitive the past three performances have been to observe from the outside. What what would your diagnosis be? Yeah, disappointing. Absolutely. We're, as I said before, we're not in the, in the case to to turn up and make up the numbers. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, the performances aren't stacking up um, and we're doing a hell of a lot of work at the footy club to rectify that and the reasons why and what we can do to change that as well. So I understand that, that our supporters and, and fans um, don't like turning up the games and, and it seems that you know our performances aren't stacking up. I agree with that. I don't, I don't like playing in games where we get beaten as well, but we understand the journey we're on and the path where we're... We're taking, you know, the lessons we're learning at the minute sometimes aren't easy, but the lessons we have to learn as players, as coaches, as as a club um, to make sure that we get this journey right and we make every person absolute winner from this point on. So I understand the process is not easy at times, but it's something that has to occur for us to, you know, go forward as a footy club. Did you seek out the coach today, Jack, to, to offer your support or to have a conversation given what's in the public domain? Yeah, I spoke to those pretty closely over the last few days. Um, 
pretty close with Nobes. I've got a lot of respect for him and the way he goes about it. Um, what he's done for our footy club in such a short period of time he's been um, here is, is nothing short of incredible. Um, the relationships he's built all the way from the players, all the way through admin, footy department staff, um, it's really, really commendable the way he's gone about it. And um, It's probably the least, the last thing he needs to be dealing with on a Monday is having to deal with all this stuff um, when we're in the position we're in. So um, I offered my support in any way I can, can do that for him um, and will continue to do so um, from this point on. Is it your job, Jack, as captain, to know if there is a level of disgruntlement that w- exists within your player group? Would you be acutely aware of that? I'd like to think that we'll have our fingers on the pulse um, as a playing group. Um, and from my point of view, um, I think, you know, it's a challenging time at our footy club um, and we're all working our absolute butts off to, to improve and get better. Um, and it's really important we all, you know, stay united as a, as a playing group first and foremost, but also as a club throughout periods like this. And there's also always going to be external noise, Jared, and um, sometimes you have to try and block that out as best you can. And right now you're learning that, that the most important things for us is happening. what's happening inside our footy club. Um, believing um, the process we're on and, and the journey we're on is crucial. Um, and right now, I, I believe that our players are fully invested um, in what we're doing here at North Melbourne. Um, and I, I personally think this will turn a lot quicker than a lot of people think it will. So, so this was a story, Jack, that was confirmed by your, your footy manager, Daniel McPherson, as being the address too hard and too forceful uh, against what you've said. Has the coach adjusted his demeanour at all since that, um, since that address and his apology to the group? No, I think that was a one-off, mate, what happened in Brisbane. Um, I think he, yeah, as I said, personally, I don't think he needed to apologise for what was said because it just shows his level of passion and care for our footy club. Um, but he did. Um, and from that point, as I said before, the last 18 months, no, this environment he's created has been awesome for our young guys to be able to come to work and learn some, some lessons that, that might be hard to learn sometimes. He's created such a safe environment here. The players really enjoy coming into work. Um, you know, we really enjoy playing footy down at North Melbourne and we have to make sure that we, um, you know, stay together throughout this as well. So I don't think that, that he's changed his approach at all and, and I think that was just a one-off. So, Jack, you belong to uh, the older group uh, who's probably seen the, the transformation. Is, is there still a place in the game for what we would colloquially regard as the old-fashioned spray? Uh, I, I think um, coaches know their players very, very well. It's an absolute science, Jared. Um, when to do that and when to deliver it and get the right response. And, and as I said before, our, our response after that game to Sydney was probably the best game I've played this year, barring the result. So um, I think there was a level there that we, we did get a response um, from that. So um, personally, I think there is a time and a place for it, um, but it's up to the coach to decide when that is. Does it concern you at all that Jason Horn francis has reportedly put off contract negotiations within the season to, uh, to add years to his compulsory years out of the draft? No, I don't think so. Um, I know Jace pretty well, and um, he's obviously a super talented kid. Um, but, yeah, it's decisions for him, his family, and, and obviously his management make that call and got nothing really to do with us as players. Jack, do, do we... So you're forceful in what you're saying here, and it couldn't be more upfront about that. Do we need to see it now? Do we need to see that in action out on the field? Absolutely, mate. And, and to be frank, I'm not that comfortable... Um, speaking all these words because I'd rather let actions do talking. Um, it's, it's sometimes you have to, to say things, um, but I'd rather do things. Um, and, and to be fair, I want our supporters to see our playing group and club improve week by week um, and just for them to know that we are working our absolute tails off to make that happen. Um, the journey we're on, I think the narrative's been written that it will be a little bit bumpy at times. But with that comes a level of expectation and, and no one expects more than ourselves here at the footy club. And, and we've been disappointed with our start to the year. There's no doubt about that. So it's time now for us to yeah, yeah show some action and, and some improvement as well. We'll be watching, Jack. Can't ask for much more than the questions that you've met front on. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Cheers, mate.